that guy over there, is he friendly? Like, he walks like... He walks like he's coming at me. That's what he does. Yeah, he's coming at me. Hello guys, and welcome to Bip King Gaming. I am the Bip King, and today we're going to be playing some more Starbound. Now, I know that we've just released episode 1, and uh, we jumped straight into episode 2, but you guys seem to really enjoy it, and I'm really happy that Starbound's been released, and uh, I actually recorded uh, a quite a large session uh, just straight out. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in here, me talking, and um, we're going to jump straight in where we left off uh, from episode 1. So, I hope you enjoy so my voice is going to change, don't worry, I'm good. But before we can actually do much, uh, we should look at crafting some stuff. Ooh, what's this? Basic crafting. Ah yeah, plant fiber, so that's good. Um, so we definitely want some of them. Uh, we'll get ten to start with. Uh, what else? Hmm. Can I not? Know the kid flag. That's pretty cool. Inventor's table. That's what we're looking for. Uh, Alright, so we need timber. Uh, let's just go for 20. Is that, do I have enough? Yeah, sweet. Uh, and then we can make one of these. Wait, does it... Ah, it stops. You actually have to stand here and wait. Okay, so that's a new thing as well. Uh, do you just craft an inventor's table? I estimate your chances of survival have improved by 7.2%. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, right, so yeah, we have the inventor's table, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna pop it down. I'm gonna pop it up here, just so that it's easier for me to put down. Uh, that seems good. Right. Now I should be able to craft more things. But no, I can't. Do I enter it with E? I do four. Foraging table. Oh, this is new. Used to produce items for hunting, mining, and farming. That would be very useful. Because we are going to need food, which I'm guessing is this yellow bar here. So, uh, I'm definitely going to make one of them. And then we're going to look at some hunting. And, uh, yeah, we also want to... We also... Oh, so that is actually right there. I want to look at... Um, actually starting to build our house a bit. We've got three of them. Thick, sticky mud. Hmm. Dry dirt. Uh, okay, well, let's just make it with timber then. Uh, like that. Like that. Let's come across. And. Like. So, can I. Can I not, like, make a door or something? Uh, oh, I actually need some down here. There we are. Very good. Um, and what else do I need? I want to... I want to make a wall. Wooden wall. Uh, what if I go in here? Primitive furnace. Iron bar. Wooden workbench. I need cobblestone. We're on a mission for cobblestone, guys. We're on a cobblestone mission. Uh, and there's... See, I thought this was cobblestone, but it's not. It's actually just... It's sticky. What are you? What are you? Oh, no! Ah! Oh, my God, I'm gonna die again! I'm gonna... Oh! 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 That was intense. I don't even know who that guy was. Like... He did not like me. He did not like me one bit. Uh, we've got these guys here. 
Uh, and there's still a lot of stuff going on down there. There's a lot more creatures. Like, there are definitely a lot more creatures. Right, he went up there and he is not coming back. So that is obviously goes somewhere. Uh, let's just jump down here, take this guy. Oh god. Oh god. That, um, that was intense. This is a pretty intense first episode. So, yeah, I mean, this obviously does go up somewhere. So, quick look. Because I think maybe this comes out on the other side of our house. Uh, I don't actually have any... Oh, God. Oh, God, there's another one. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whew. I am not sure what I think about that guy. Like, he, uh... I mean, he kind of scares the bejesus out of me. He's just so big and I have no armor. Like, I wish I could make, like, wooden armor or something like that. Ugh. I need to make this bit better. How do I... Let's, let's grab the dirt. Uh, let's grab the standard dirt. And there we are. Out nice meeting. Oh. Ah, that's one of them up here. What's he doing up here? Get away from my base. Oh, God. Oh, right. I'm going to, I'm going to get my stuff. <laughs> I'm going to get my stuff. Um, I'm going to probably try and kill this guy. Uh, I think I can do it. I mean, I've killed one of them, so I know I can kill this guy, but... Jeez. This is, uh... Th this is intense. Like, again, this is like the RimWorld game where I just... First time I ever played it, I was just like, yeah, I mean, this is a, a tricky game. It's pretty hard. And then as soon as I went to record it, it was just chaotic. Um, hunting bow need string. How on earth do I make string? Ooh, tungsten hunting bow. Interesting indeed. So now, the thing with the pre-alpha game was that... Or with the alpha game. I don't know what, if it was pre-alpha or alpha, but... Either way, the thing with, the, with, with those versions of the game was... They, um... The, the game was very much just... Go to a planet, get to... The, either the bottom of the core uh, or and kill the kill a boss uh, and then move on to the next planet um, so I'm interested to see what kind of other aspects they've added into it because I mean I didn't get to play the game too far before the whole series died on me unfortunately but um, but yeah I mean from what I experienced it was, it was the, the, well at least the first planet was very easy go get yourself um, down to the bottom, get the core fragments, repair your ship, and then off you go. And from from what I could understand from other players, was that it was again very much just the uh, I don't like this thing here. Like it's creating so many issues for me to go up. That should be much better. Um, but yeah, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, people were saying um, that it was just kind of go, going to find a boss, killing a boss, uh, and then off to the next planet. Uh, and that's kind of how you advance in the game. Uh, but from what I can see now from like the kind of new trailers and stuff that they've released for this game is that... I mean, you can... You can get um, like full-on colonies going like you can in Terraria, which is very interesting to me. So that's definitely something. So I don't know if... Like, I don't know how that works around uh, the principle of... Uh, keep traveling to other planets. Like, do you have like a central planet that you keep coming back to? Uh, so it's all going to be very interesting, guys. And uh, and I and I'm very much looking forward to having uh, all you bros be a part of it. So we're gonna. I want to try and just tidy up this base a bit, just a, just a, just a little bit, because uh, it's a bit messy. Like, we need to get s at least some kind of. Um, wall going on in the background so here we are this is where we want to be wood paneling 
Wood panel. Heavy stone. Uh, 20 times heavy stone brick. Uh, since... Uh, I can only get five heavy stone bricks. That's that's not very good. Uh, let's just get wood paneling for now. Where did it go? Wood paneling. There we are. Grab. Uh, probably about forty. Twelve. <laughs> I'm like, I'll grab forty. Game's like, mm, you grab twelve. That's what you'll grab. Um. And then we'll patch up these holes that we've got in the back here. So, uh, yeah, as you can prob... Oh. Oh, you get quite a lot anyway. So that's cool. Uh, so as you can see from this game compared to uh, Terraria is that the kind of... Wait. Oh, no, I've done that wrong. Stupid. Yeah, like I was saying, as you can see from uh, the way that this game works compared to Terraria... Um... There are some there are some slight differences. So there are some very slight differences in how you craft and how you explore and and just in, in how the game looks as well. But again, the one thing um, I, I never really played two D platform games uh, b before I was limit limited to two um, D platform games based on how advanced games have got compared to when I used to game and uh, the kind of um, not very powerful nature of my PC should I say so um so yeah we are uh, we're, we're, I'm, I'm what I was what I was gonna say this is what I was gonna say I remember now um I'm really impressed with how um, amazing these games are like how enjoyable how much gameplay they offer and oh this guy oh uh, yeah how much gameplay these these games offer considering that they're just like 2D. I mean something building like like these games are all about uh, to be able to accomplish such a full game uh, while remaining or leaving it as a 2D platform blows my mind. I think it's really impressive. Because like 2, 2D, plat or 2D platform games are limited in, in, in so many ways uh, limited in the way they can move and the way that you can move around objects and and so on. Um, but yeah, like the guys that made Terraria, the guys that made this, were just like, eh, don't matter. We'll we'll still make something awesome out of it. Uh, and obviously, it's still kind of like 2.5 because you can place items. You can t place items behind you. So like, there's wall there, but there's nothing there. So it's kind of like a 2.5. But but still, I. I I think this game is just uh, it's brilliant, and I love I love the amount of like, gameplay hours that you can get out of it. Um, just because there's just so much to do, uh, and that's what I really love about these games. The kind of infinite gameplay ideas. I mean, this is supposed to be infinite because um, like there's supposed to just be a never-ending amount of planets, from what I gather. And uh, I think uh, like items and all these kind of things just scale um, scale as you go. So yeah, we're going to go back down... Oh, I actually wanted wood. That's why I went to, uh, to that direction. But there wasn't any, so we're going to come back in here. Uh, and I should actually be able to build the door. Because that's what I really, really need for these. Uh, we made it. Get out of here, you. Get out of here, you. This is my house. Step. Get out of here. Choppy chop. There's one. Uh, and there's actually a little... Come on. Biggest tree ever. Get, get, get out of here. My house. I want to go down here. Happy with that. Uh, let's get back out like that. Um, that guy over there is he friendly? Like he walks like he walks like he's coming at me. That's what he does. Yeah, he's coming at me. But oh oh oh, comes at me nice and chilled, and then just like pounces. 
Oh, there's some coal down there. So, uh, yeah, I think for the rest of this episode, we're going to get that coal down there. We're going to get a couple more trees. And uh, then we're going to quickly finish off the house. And I think that will be um, be a good, nice, long episode to uh, to start you off, guys. To start you guys off with this series. Because, um, yeah, it's a returning series, as you, uh, as you probably know by now. Ooh, there's something quite... There's something quite like just rigid there. Oh, it's just just mud. Just just a bit of mud. I was kind of. Uh... Oh, we definitely want these. We definitely want this. I see you've discovered some seeds. I suggest planting them in some tiled, so oh, some tilled soil and watering them until they grow. The tools you need can be built at the forging table. Okay, so. To get the forging table, we need to get ourselves a decent amount of iron. Uh, oh, actually, we need like we need health like ASAP. Uh, let's pop up there. Where has my? There it is. There we go. It's all good and. And there we are. I see that you're eating sufficiently. With a full stomach, your body will slowly regenerate and heal. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. So we definitely want to remain, like, full for as much of this game as possible. Because if it gives us, like, a buff like that where we, like, just constantly regain health, I mean, that's, that's awesome. So the good thing about getting all this coal is that, as you can see, we're we're moving into another night, and uh, we we're gonna need some torches around our base and stuff. So we're gonna, and I think there's a little bit of copper here as well. There is a little bit of copper. Come on, there we are. Very good, very very good. Happy with that. So. Let's try and get ourselves back out of here. Ugh. There we are. Uh, and then we will run back to our house. Oh, we've got, we got mobs. There's a lot of them and I'm in a hole. I'm put myself down. I'm in an untactical position. I gave up the high ground. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? Oh my God. Oh my God. There are so many new monsters. Oh my god, don't run around at night. Don't run around at night. Oh. Deary me. Deary, deary me. Right. So, first things first, I want a wooden door. Um, no. Is it just... Stand? Yeah, timber. Come on, how do I... Right, uh, let's just go for... 20. Which is stupid because I literally, like, just... I, I literally, like, <laughs> just spent that time um, clicking up to 19 and then I was like, Oh, no, I want 20. Uh, so we want two doors... Um, da, 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 da. Well, kind of want a bed, but not yet. Uh, in regards to torches, grab that. I like. I kind of. I kind of like. I don't know if it's just because it's survival that it's added a, a timer, uh, but if it has, that's that's pretty cool. That's definitely something I can get on board with. Uh, okay, so we actually need to start by it. There we are. And the same over here. Voila! Brilliant! Uh, and then I want to... I want to finish off what we were doing here. So we'll grab this. There we are, that gives me 50. Is it? No. 
There we are. And we, here we go. Like, I mean, we've got a house now, bros. We actually have ourselves a proper house. And I can even go in here somewhere and grab that and no yeah that's right uh, and take these ones and put them there there we go uh, and then we want some light in here put one there one there one there okay one there and I can't put one there that's really that's like really annoying can I just pick this up and put it down somewhere else? I feel like I should be able to. Yeah. Like that. And then I should be able to get one there. And there we go, guys. Our first basic little house. I like it. And uh, yeah, I also think that this is a good episode to... Uh, well, good. I think this is a good point to call the episode it. Um, that was, that was episode it, guys. Uh, episode it. Oh, God, what is up with me today? I can't, I can't talk. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. That was episode one, guys. And, um, yeah, um. And right, guys, I think that will, uh, I think that'll do it for episode one. Uh, this is the reboot of Starbound, and I'm so happy that we're back. I'm so happy we're back. It's, um. It's been really enjoyable just getting back into it, seeing all the new stuff that they've added. And I'm very impressed. I'm I'm very, very, very impressed. So, um, as always, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in episode two. Bye!